The electric vertical takeoff and landing EV toll industry has long worked to overcome challenges, like whether today's batteries can fly small groups over distances such as San Francisco to Tahoe at Cessna-like speeds, while it might seem impossible at first. But Elon's track record is hard to ignore. He has revolutionized electric vehicles and designed rockets that land upright. If anyone could tackle a supersonic electric VTOL jet, it could be him. This made the concept worth exploring. So, let's explore both intriguing possibilities and major challenges. To begin the investigation into supersonic electric VTOL, some ground rules were set. The concept had to meet all three criteria, supersonic, electric, and VTOL, not just two out of three. While focusing on only supersonic electric or supersonic VTOL could lead to interesting design opportunities, the goal was clearly to achieve the full combination. There are three major challenges tied to supersonic electric VTOL flight. First is the creation of an electric propulsor that works efficiently at supersonic speeds. Second is the development of batteries with enough specific energy for supersonic cruising and enough specific power for vertical takeoffs and landings. Lastly, there is the challenge of integrating all of this into a functional supersonic airframe. The first challenge involves the propulsor. Currently, only one operational aircraft can achieve supersonic speeds and perform vertical landings. The Lockheed Martin F-35B. It uses a Pratt & Whitney F-135 afterburning turbofan engine that generates over 40,000 pounds of thrust by burning fossil fuel. This method of thrust generation is not feasible for electric aircraft. A suitable alternative is not yet obvious. Current VTOL designs, like the Lilium jet, rely on ducted fans, but these would lose efficiency at supersonic speeds because their blade tips would enter the compressible regime near Mach 1.0. This makes finding a new solution for electric propulsion a critical hurdle. Harvest Jang, a software engineer, has contributed to projects like the Wayfinder at Acubed by Airbus, the Vahana VTOL, and Facebook's solar-powered Aquila drone. When the idea of a supersonic VTOL surfaced, it prompted him to consider what it would truly take to build one. He explained that turbojets and low-bypass turbofans have traditionally been used for supersonic flight. These engines rely on compression and combustion in the jet engine core to achieve the high exit velocities needed at such speeds. For an electric propulsion system, a similar level of compression and flow shaping would be necessary, but without combustion. This could potentially be achieved through electric motor-powered fan and compressor stages, similar to those used in supersonic wind tunnels. Although such an electric propulsion system doesn't exist yet, efforts are being made to develop one. Former NASA engineer and VTOL advocate Mark Moore is leading the charge at his startup, Whisper Aero, which came out of stealth mode. While Moore and his team have not disclosed specifics about their electric propulsor technology, they claim it will enable an all-electric Whisper jet to carry 4 to 19 passengers at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. They also promise exceptionally low noise and impressive operating costs hinting at a promising step toward the future of electric aviation. Mark Moore believes his team is closer than anyone else to achieving what Elon Musk envisions for supersonic electric aircraft. He explained that such an aircraft could reach extremely high altitudes where traditional turbofans fail as they depend on oxygen from the air for combustion. At these high altitudes, the thin air would allow a supersonic electric aircraft to cruise at very high speeds with minimal power. However, the key challenge lies in the current limitations of battery technology. Batteries today are not yet advanced enough to support the power needed to reach and maintain those altitudes efficiently. Despite this, the journey toward this goal has already begun, and advancements in battery technology will be critical for making supersonic electric flight a reality in the future. To better understand the battery requirements for such an aircraft, Carnegie Mellon researchers Venkat Viswanathan and Shashank Sripad were consulted. They have been nicknamed the Battery Police. Their research, published in the Proceedings of the National Academies of Sciences PNAS, examined battery demands for small subsonic VTOL aircraft. They found that several designs are nearing viability using current lithium-ion batteries. Applying a similar approach, the researchers analyzed the energy consumption for a supersonic EV toll. 
They focused on key parameters, including the maximum lift-to-drag ratio LD-max. Sripad explained that understanding technical feasibility, especially for electrification, requires this kind of straightforward analysis. However, LD-max values tend to be low for supersonic aircraft due to wave drag, which increases sharply as the vehicle nears its critical Mach number, the point where airflow over parts of the aircraft reaches the speed of sound. For their analysis, the team used LD-max values of 6 and 8, based on historical data from the Lockheed A-12 and the Concorde, which had values of 6.6 .6 and 7.4, respectively. The findings matched what Elon Musk had suggested before. He mentioned in 2014 that batteries with 400 watt-hours per kilogram, making up 70% of an aircraft's mass, could make an electric plane possible. Researchers estimated that such batteries could allow a supersonic EV toll to fly at Mach 1.1 for 10 to 15 minutes at 40,000 feet, including vertical takeoff and landing. However, achieving this is still a challenge. Lithium-ion batteries improve by only 3 to 5 percent each year, and while lithium metal batteries could offer higher energy, their packaging methods are not yet clear. Even if they reach 350 watt-hour per kilogram, it may not be enough. Additionally, these aircraft need batteries that can discharge power quickly for vertical takeoffs and landings. This makes the vertical flight segment the most difficult part to solve, as it requires both high energy and high power at the same time. Electric vehicle developers aim to keep battery packs light and safe, but supersonic electric aircraft face extra challenges. At high altitudes, thin air increases the risk of corona discharge, where electricity leaks due to air ionization. This issue needs to be addressed in the aircraft's electrical design. The cold temperatures at such heights also slow down battery performance. While fast discharging might create enough heat to help, careful thermal management will still be essential. Another challenge is where to place batteries, which may account for 70% of the aircraft's mass. The aircraft's design must also reduce wave drag and handle the increased drag near supersonic speeds, making precise planning necessary for both battery placement and aerodynamics. Supersonic aircraft are designed to be long and narrow, with their fuselages shaped to reduce wave drag. This design leaves little space for batteries, unlike some EV tolls that store them under the wings. The same problem applies to the propulsion system. Supersonic jets may need separate propulsors for VTOL flight, but the thin stretched fuselage limits where they can be placed. Because of these challenges, a supersonic electric VTOL jet is still far from reality. Even Elon Musk acknowledged that electric planes are not a priority yet, as other technologies like electric cars and energy storage are more important right now. Still, progress continues. Experts believe the right advancements will eventually make supersonic electric VTOL possible, even if it's not feasible today. So, what do you think? Is the dream of a supersonic electric VTOL jet closer than we think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos like this. See you in our next video. Until then, take care, and thanks for watching.